I was about to sit down and talk to you and do my makeup, but then I realized that I had forgotten for the fifth time today to take my ADHD medicine. I've gone into my room to take my medicine five different times, walked in, did something else, and left. And so this is me saying out loud to my camera, I'm gonna go take my ADHD medicine because that way I'm gonna go do it because I've tried already five times and just kept forgetting. So this is me not forgetting. I'm gonna go do that now. I'll be right back. Today is a very much like a prepping, get ready, clean up chores kind of a day. Even though I have a lot of work to do, I have to get the house like ready for the baby's birthday party. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. She going ham. Does anybody else randomly sing or say things from TikTok? I'm having an allergy attack right now again. No! <laughs> Before I turn on the camera, I had like a thousand things I wanted to talk about and now I've forgotten them all. Corey is getting me Taco Bell because he is the queen of my heart and I love him so much. I told him I was the queen of Taco Bell and he's like, I'll go get it and I'm so excited to eat Taco Bell. Don't look at my sweatshirt, guys. Stop looking at this. You're not supposed to see it yet. I have merch coming out really soon and I'm so excited about it. Oh my god! It's probably my favorite merch I've done so far. Mmm, Mexican pizza. Guys, we have all the Christmas holiday Starbucks drinks. I'm so excited. Oh wow, there's a lot to try. Let's see how many candle drinks we try today. I'm not a big coffee drinker anymore. I used to drink coffee every day. I like literally never drink it anymore. Oh my God. I know, Reindeer works. cake pop. Okay, we'll save maybe the for treats for Flynn. So I'll do the drinks now and maybe I'll do the snacks later. Let's start with pepper mocha. I love that we drink these every year. They're always the same. I always say they taste like candles, but. Every once in a while they have a new drink, like the sugar cookie, but this yeah. year they didn't have any new ones. I don't remember what any of them taste like, so here we go. Peppermint mocha, sounds delicious. Hmm, I don't like it. It does taste like peppermint mocha. I love yeah. a good peppermint mocha. I don't like that fake chocolatey taste. It doesn't taste like real chocolate. I don't like like the artificial chocolate flavor. It's a little bit toothpaste flavor. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let's try chestnut praline. What's a praline? I don't know, it sounds like something a grandma would love. Yeah. Or it's like what I call you. Praline. No. <laughs> if I like was praying one day. I stand praline. <laughs> okay, here we go, chestnut praline. I like it better than the other one. That one actually, whoever made this drink today was like, let's put lots of water in it. <laughs> so it's like kind of watery, but maybe that's why I like it, because it tastes like diluted, which I like. What does a chestnut taste like? I don't know, it just tastes like sugary coffee. It's it's like, like hazelnut coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Irish cream cold brew, I'm not gonna like this. You're gonna say it's a tire, and I'm so excited. It's just a cold brew with Irish cream, which is such a sweet cream, like. It's Irish cream? You ever had Irish cream? The luck of the sure. Irish. I don't know, I don't know what's the difference between that and any other kind of cream, but here we go. Yeah, she's a tire, honey. She's a tire every year. Give me that it tastes Irish like tire. Tar, car oil. Do you like her? I don't like the Irish cream. It mm -hmm. tastes like Bailey's elk. Elk? Like the animal? No alcohol. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant like elk, like a literal elk. Caramel or caramel brulee. Oh, did you write these? Yeah. I'm just realizing this is your handwriting. Yeah. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, they even wrote all the names of everything on top, and Corey just didn't even say anything. And then I'm just not realizing this is your handwriting. Do you say caramel? You say caramel. I say caramel. Yeah. Other people say caramel. I I appreciate it though, because I, I like, like I like the way it rolls. Caramel. Caramel. With a bit brulee. of prosecco in it. Yes. She's my fave. Really? Mm -hmm. That tastes like a caramel macchiato to me a little bit. That's nice. That reminds me of, I used to get that like a couple summers ago. No. I drank that every day. I That's hate caramel. One. That's my favorite. Caramel brulee. It's sour queen. Sugar cookie. I can tell I will hate this. The smell of it. It the smell smells of like cookie? no. It just smells like a really crappy candle you get at like a TJ Maxx, trying to be like the expensive ones, but it's not. I love those deals though. <laughs> you know, it's not as bad as I thought. The smell is worse than the taste. Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's like light. But we are drinking a candle. Yes, it is a candle. Like you it's know those bad. birthday cake candles or like cookie yeah. candles. That's yeah, yeah, literally yeah. that. All in all, I like Favorites. the caramel brulee the best, and then the sugar cookie, and the rest I thought were garbage. I think I would choose a peppermint mocha, a toothpaste mm. moment. I didn't like that one. There you go. That's all the holiday drinks they had at our Starbucks. What do they have at yours? All right, Flynn, it's time to try a treat. First one is chocolate pistachio swirl. Mmm. Whoa, that was a big bite. Do you like it? It kind of is like a cinnamon bun or something, but like without the cinnamon. This is called a sugar plum Danish. Mmm. Ooh, that's yummy. I mean, it's have you ever had a Danish? It's a Danish. It's nice. I'm not a big like pastry girl. I don't really like most pastries. This is a cranberry bliss bar. Mmm, lots of frosting. Whoa, big bite, bro. What do you think? You like it? No man cookie. Oh, this is so cute. 
Oh, his head. Off with his head. That's just a plain sugar cookie. It is self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. What's this? An uh, owl. Owl? Looks like an owl. It's a reindeer, but it looks like an owl, huh? You wanna try that or have you had too much sweets? You try a bite? Whoa. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh. We have a clock that croaks like a frog every hour. That's what the poison dart frog sounds like apparently. All right, I gotta go because Wesley's trying to eat a cake pop. I have such a bad headache, it won't go away. <laughs> so I'm wearing this headache relief cap. This thing I do think actually works. It feels really good. So actually, I don't know if it works. I just know that it feels good. I'm a fan of this, but I'm kind of miserable. Let's do something I really don't want to do and organize my craft corner. As you can see, there's just a bunch of crap on top of this counter and it should all be inside of these cabinets, but it's not, so I need to make that happen. <laughs> so essentially what I need to do is take everything off the top of the counters and everything out from inside these cabinets and organize it. So luckily there's a table here. I'm a pile cleaner. Anyone else use the pile method where like I put things in piles of where they go. So like if anything goes in another room, it's like, oh, this is my office pile. This is my bedroom pile. This is toiletry pile. And since this is all crafts, I'd be like, these are things you color with. These are adhesives. These are random craft kits. You know what I mean? I do piles. And so then if anyone walks in on me cleaning, they're like, oh, you just made a huge mess. But in my brain, I'm like, no, these are piles. And eventually the piles will be put away. So that's what I'm doing. I started mind zoning this a long time ago and I never finished after whatever. Who cares? Okay, I've got to start my piles. And drinking some water. Good chewing on it. Good drinking your water, Leslie. Water, good boy. <laughs> 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 oh, you want more? What are you doing? My hair is stunning. I just look like a goddess. Guys, I cleaned out the craft cabinets. I'm obviously making cookies. While I was cleaning out the craft cabinet, actually, I came across something that I had to throw away because it's dangerous to have in your home if you have children. And it's something I never knew was dangerous until I saw TikTok about it, but it's water beads. There's this mom on TikTok that just popped up on my For You page one day and her little daughter, I think she's like nine months old, she's really little, ate a water bead and it caused major complications because they grow, obviously. So if you eat it, it can grow and babies' organs and intestines are tiny, so it causes blockages. They're also toxic. Obviously, she didn't feed it to her baby. The water beads were for her older kid, and I have water beads for Flynn to play with, but I have babies that crawl around. You know, they could fall and out, out when he's playing with them in a bucket and like roll around, shrink. Wes could pick one up and eat it. Maisie could pick one up and eat it. Or even Flynn, honestly, he doesn't seem like the type that would do that, but like, you never know. Like, he could decide he wants to try one or something, but I guess there's been a bunch of cases where like kids have eaten them and ended up in the hospital, and it's super dangerous, and I did not know that until I saw this mom. Okay, I've tried like a million ways, but for some reason my camera like will not focus on my phone and show you who this is. It's at F-O underscore B-B-Y-4. And she's like kind of TikToking her journey with her daughter in the hospital. I think her daughter had her fifth surgery this morning. I can't imagine how terrifying. Like I've watched her TikToks and literally cried. Like I can't imagine how scared she must feel. Like to have your baby, your tiny little sweet baby. Like I can't even talk about it. I feel so terrible for her. But if you want to support her, you can. I don't know her personally she doesn't know who I am like she's following me I don't know her but she's popped on my free page and she's trying to spread the word about how toxic and dangerous water beads can be so I'm passing that message along I threw away my water beads today but yeah that was something that was in the craft drawer so I was like I gotta get rid of these my dishwasher being very loud and rude right now anyway this is the area now as you can see it is cleaned off obviously this is still a mess don't cover me and in here we have glue guns and my tape markers paint brushes crayon bucket random miscellaneous yarn this site isn't as organized, but we have glitters, sparkles, glue, paints is all up here and just random crap in the bottom. I feel a little accomplished. It took me hours to do literally two cabinets. There are cabinets underneath there? I have cabinets in my breakfast nook and I literally did not know about them. There's cabinets. What the? 
wonder if there's anything in these drawers. I need to look. Okay, let's see. Okay, nothing in that one. Oh my god, I had storage I didn't even know about, guys. Oh, there's stuff in here. Oh my god. Games and puzzles, but like, I don't remember putting those in there. I don't know how it's gotten there. There's one more I need to check on the other side. Let's look and see. <gasps> More games! Wow, just a bunch of random games. Who would have thunk? There's a lot to do for the baby's birthday party this weekend. Um, a lot of decorating, a lot of planning and prepping that I'm trying to do last minute. And one thing I want to do is hang these like streamer thingies up here. I do this usually like every party we have, but I need a ladder. I'm gonna wait for Eric so that I can put these up. I also have this balloon arch I need to put up somewhere. I have like duck paper plates. I have these like tiny rubber duckies. I don't know what to do with them because they're obviously too small for the babies. So seeing like on top of the tables, like decoration or something. This is a huge inflatable rubber ducky. I have like a duck pond matching game. I don't know guys, I need to like figure out my life. Next I have to go through all the stuff that's been piling up on here, which is stuff that needs to go in these cabinets, but this has been in the way. So everything's just been piling up on here. So now I have to go through this. Okay, I'm about to go to bed in a second. The babies keep waking up at the same time, which usually doesn't happen. Usually like one of them has a hard night and the other one sleeps okay. Usually it's Maisie having a hard night and Wesley sleeps okay. But tonight they're both waking up a lot, which is concerning. And they're both waking up at the same time, which is even more concerning because I can't calm them both at the same time. I have to pick one or the other and it's, oh, Maisie's awake again. Okay, I'll be right back. I think she fell back asleep. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna get to the point because they're gonna keep waking up and interrupting me. I wanna do something to prove a point because I'm brat. Um, Maisie. Okay, I'll be right back. Maisie. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 1.18 a.m. She's been awake for an hour. She will not go back to sleep. She was just talking, laughing, rolling around. So finally I was like, I'll just wait for her to do what I want to do because I wanted to end the vlog. But then I was like, you know what? She's never gonna go to sleep. She's just like me and she's like sleeping. She does this often. Well, she'll just be awake for a long time. So I'm just gonna let her be awake. I never do this. I always stay in the room with her and help her fall back asleep. But tonight I was like, no, I'm doing what I want to do tonight. Okay, Maisie Jo? Yeah, clap for that. There's this TikTok thing that I've seen for years where you use a like robe thing to curl your hair. And it always makes me mad because you're like, it's so easy to have heatless curls. You just use one of these and wrap your hair on it and then your hair wakes up and it's luscious and gorgeous and perfect. And girls always have the most gorgeous, luscious, perfect curls in the morning. And you know why? Because they have like straight hair. They don't have frizzy curly hair. And I know it's not gonna work on hair like mine. So I wanna prove it. So I'm gonna try to do it to my hair. Granted, it's only gonna be in my hair for a few hours because it's already 1.30 and somebody wakes up at six. So it's not gonna be in my hair for like a full night. Now granted my hair's dirty. I showered last night, or I washed it last night. Then it's been in braids all day today. So this is what it currently looks like. I'm actually helping it because since it's dirty, it's probably gonna be more tame than it would have been if I had like showered and then done it. And I know guys wet their hair before they do this, but I also know that I don't need to wet my hair to do this. She just found my makeup. She's literally just gonna take everything out of it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use my phone as my mirror. Okay, I'm gonna do this to my hair. I'll be right back. I'm quite confident that I did it wrong, but we're gonna go with it and see what happens. Here it goes nothing. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you if it worked. Girl, we know it's not gonna work. You wanna stay awake?